right, welcome. I'm here and back for another success call. I'm here with Darrell Taylor of DarrellTaylor.com. He helps aspiring entrepreneurs to get started with their businesses. And um, he has had some success to share. So I wanted to hop on a success call with him. Darrell, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, I hope you're, hope you're doing well. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's an honor. I'm happy to be here. And I, I am so excited. Yeah, so I'd love to ask you, I guess, first, um, what was it that, so first, how did you find me? And then like, what was it that drew you, drew you to me? Uh, so how did I find you? You just have some awesome marketing. <laughs> like it seemed like you just, even till this day, you just pop up all the time. Like it's always the, just the, like the large catalog of content. And even it's like, when I clicked on it, the next thing, you know, I seen you again, when I'm on YouTube and then again on Instagram and then on Facebook, I'm like, she's everywhere. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, just fantastic marketing and just the just overall the value that you were giving your content I just really loved every bit of it and I was just like you know what I have to follow I have to see what this is about especially when I just have had a desire always to take everything that I've been to package it up and then be able to help the next person yeah and I love um I love what you do and and even your journey I remember when we first chatted because we chatted over the phone um, a little while back, I think you had got a call from one of the products that you purchased. And I just really loved your energy just from the start. I was like, this guy is going places. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to be a part of that journey. So I would love to hear from you, like what, what sort of success have you seen? Or like, what's been your experience after, you know, moving through some of my programs and even, you know, soaking up some of the free content as well? Yeah. And, and also, wow, it, it's crazy. Like this journey really has really been a journey, um, especially because, you know, one thing I love when talking to you, I just love the, I don't know, your confidence on that call. You know, I, I'll never forget when you said, oh my gosh, Darrell, like, you got this. <laughs> and and it's just having that, just having that conversation with you and you like going through everything that I had, you know, uh, thus far and you being able to say, you know what, you got this. And it was almost also like a kick in the butt at the same time of some accountability of saying, you may not have the bread or whatever you ha whatever you feel like you're lacking right now, but go hit the pavement, go out there and grind and just go make it happen. Um, that was just so much value to me, especially at that point. And I did just that and just going through the course as far as package and profit, it allowed me to get a whole lot of clarity in my business as far as who's my ideal client, like what what's the transformation that I really offer and like how to actually try to break that down and be able to explain it to somebody else. And even the funnel to freedom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the funnel to freedom was just amazing. Um, because yeah. just through that entire process, I feel like I figured out, oh, this is how she's everywhere at once. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> this is amazing. And yeah. just knowing, I don't know, just you also saying that you're an introvert and how you built your business around being an introvert. I was just like, yo, don't get me wrong, I love people, but sometimes sometimes I like being quiet. Yeah. <laughs> so just overall that entire experience, you know, I've been able to um, start my coaching business, uh, was able to start it with something called the Entrepreneurship Summit, where I was just like, you know what, let me just try to put as much value out there for free and uh, put it on in my community. It went well, utilize those testimonials to then start pitching the program that I created from, uh, from the profit program that I got from you. Mm -hmm. And then people actually start buying. And I was like, yeah. Oh, is that fifteen hundred dollars in my account? I was like, wait a minute. And then I was like, where did that come from? Yeah, like wait a minute. And then, yeah. then another client, then another client. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, wow, I could, I really have something here, you know. And I can truly say, yeah, that's all because of the value that you bring. Yeah, I love, I love hearing that. Like um, when you had reached out recently. And you were like, hey, you know, I'm working on, you know, Sunshine, you're working on your uh, application funnel right now. And you're like, yeah, I made this sale, I made this sale, I made that sale. I'm like, wait a minute, like he's been working. <laughs> so that's that's great. I love uh, I love hearing that. So let's say you were to go back and, you know, to the you that you were when you first started, you probably had some fears, some doubts, you weren't really sure, you know, who should I trust? What should I do? How should I get started? What would you tell to the person who, you know, whether they're looking at my stuff or looking at something like they're out there searching right now yeah. and they need to know, like, how do I know that what I'm getting into is legit? Like, what would you say to that person uh, to kind of help them on their journey? Yeah. So as far as letting them know that it's legit, 
So I would definitely say pay attention to the testimonials. You know, um, since since that since that time, I've got a job being an intervention specialist uh, throughout this process, and it just really gave me an insight on really helping people, like with the core of their issue. And when you're looking at people with testimonials, are they help are are they being helped with the core of their issue? You know, they may come from one thing, but you you may realize that that person needs something totally different or something very deep rooted before they even get to that point. Like I look at when I came to you, the fact that you said you got this, like it 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 impacted me in such a great way simply because I was just like, okay, Jarrell, let's calm down. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, like, like you, that's what you really step. needed was like that confidence to for, that and that push for you. Yes. And, yeah. and that allowed me to say, you know what, I'm going to just strive to be the best me that I can be and just put myself out there. Mm. And yeah, that that there, just being able to look at those testimonials and be able to see, OK, they may have did this or they may be creating content now. They may even be starting their business. But if they still lack in the area of their life, say for me, for me if I still lacked in confidence, mm. I still wouldn't be able to get the results that I was striving to uh, get or even be able to help the people that I I'm striving to serve. So what do you feel like is the main thing that holds people back from taking that leap, taking that next step and maybe investing in themselves or purchasing a course or signing up, you know, with a mentor? What is that thing that, that you think holds them back? Nine times out of 10, um, based off of everything that I've been through, and then also just being able to work with clients and like go sales calls after sales call. Mm -hmm. It's always life. Like it's always life. Usually if it's, oh, I can't buy because I'm a little overwhelmed or I feel like I don't have the time or I feel like I don't have the money, it's mm -hmm. usually nine times out of 10, it's life. And I always say you have to get life right first before we mm -hmm. can start trying to build a business. Even down to money. Oh, you're trying to buy a course and you feel like you don't have enough? Well, are we managing life money before we can even get the business money? Mm -hmm. So it's things like that. Nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, it's always, it's like- Speaking life. truth. <laughs> let, let the people know the, the church says amen so <laughs> Jarrell I want to thank you so much for um sharing your experience like I said I am enjoying being part of your journey and I love kind of seeing your growth um as you move forward I I already saw that when I first met you that you're destined for great things and those are not far off you're doing them right now so congratulations I wish you all the best and uh cheers to your continued success right back at you